And uh, Rosie O'Donnell. Okay. I, so my, I'm I getting run. overwhelmed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. LindsayGraham.com, help me. They're killing me money-wise. Help me. You did last week. Help me again. Well, Rosie should be able to decide in Barbara Streisand <laughs> should decide, I guess, a South Carolina Senate race. Thank you, Senator. So that was Lindsey Graham last night on Fox News, begging, seemingly on the verge of tears, because Jamie Harrison in the South Carolina Senate race, the Democrat, is heavily out fundraising him. Not just since the passing of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, but especially since then. And he's absolutely freaking out. He's like, help me, help me, Sean. You gotta help me. They're raising money. They're, 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 I'm getting killed money-wise here. You gotta help me. And even earlier that day on Fox News, he was on Fox and Friends, and he said basically the same thing, that basically they hate my guts. I'm just gonna quickly play that clip for you. But I'm being killed financially. This money is because they hate my gut. And basically what they're saying there is I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting, you know, beaten badly in the fundraising game because people hate me. Well, people are right to hate you, Lindsay. It's a mixture of people not liking you, but also what you've enabled. You've enabled Donald Trump's worst impulses. The whole narrative from a lot of Republicans like Lindsey Graham before Trump took power was that this man was irresponsible, he was erratic, he was dangerous, he was not fit to be president. And and when it came down to it, one of the arguments that him and other Republicans made was, we're going to rein him in. You know, trust, you know, responsible, traditional Republicans to rein this guy in once he's in power. And they did nothing. And now you have Lindsey Graham who is not only, you know, going to spit on the final wish of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. This was one of the people who back in 2016 basically said, use my words against me. If, for instance, we have the opportunity to appoint a Supreme Court justice in the final year of one of Donald Trump's presidencies, we will not do it. Use it against me. And of course... He was a lying liar who lied. And now Lindsey Graham is one of the almost the entire Republican caucus in the Senate, except for, I believe, Murkowski and Collins. That's going to give Trump his unaccountable Supreme Court nominee, which Trump will use to try and steal the election. And so that's where we're at. So he's getting bombarded with fundraising from people of South Carolina, but all over the country because he is a threat to democracy everywhere. And it's so rich to hear Sean Hannity, of all people, complain that rich people are donating to try to stop a Republican. When you know Republicans, wealthy Republicans will donate to races all over the country, all over the country. They will donate to races in Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Florida. Michigan, even though they don't live there and maybe never even visit those states. Because the point is, while only the people of South Carolina vote for the senators from South Carolina, everyone faces the consequence of having a ghoul like Lindsey Graham in the Senate. This is a man that's done nothing to hold Donald Trump accountable. This is a man that's gone back on core promises regarding the Supreme Court. And this is a man that's now realizing, as Jamie Harrison noted when he tweeted about basically Lindsey Graham crying on air because he's getting out fundraise, this is a man realizing that he probably is going to lose if this fundraising is any indication. And I think such a large fundraising gap might very well be such an indication. Lindsey Graham ended himself, I think, or at least if he does lose, he ended himself when he broke his promise on the Supreme Court. That will be his legacy, F being the enabler of a Trump sycophant who will try and steal the election and, and end American democracy. That's what Lindsey Graham's legacy could very well end up being. This is a man that could have he could have actually done the right thing and said, I'm not going to vote on a nomination until after the election. And if Donald Trump wins, I'll support his nominee. And if Joe Biden wins, I'll hear out his nominee, whatever. And it probably would have helped his chances in South Carolina. 
but he'd rather go down for a tin pot dictator than do the right thing. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Cry more, Lindsay.